Hi, I'm Amanda and welcome to The Hot Plate. Today we're going to be getting steamy in the kitchen making peanut butter chocolate chip cookies with Laura and Michelle. Woo! Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna get started on our cookies. Girls, we're really excited to have you on today. Thank you, we're so excited to be here. So excited, I love cookies. <laughs> <laughs> nice, and who doesn't love peanut butter chocolate chip cookies, right? No one. <laughs> I love peanut butter, love chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> nice, well they're one of my favorites too, and they're normally things that we already have in the house, and it makes for a great snack for a long school day. So we're gonna get cracking by mixing up our dry ingredients. So we're gonna grab our flour and add it to our small mixing bowl. Okay, should yeah. I go ahead? Go for it. This is nerve-wracking. <laughs> <laughs> so just about two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. And then we've got our baking powder and baking soda. So we're gonna be adding one tablespoon of baking soda and one and a half tablespoons of baking powder. So pop that in there. Wanna go ahead? Do the oh, honors. I'll do it. Aw, <laughs> sharing the work. <laughs> That's what friends do. <laughs> and then we need a little bit of salt in there, so who's gonna take charge of that? Oh, I'll crank it. Real good. Yeah. Cookies always need a little bit of salt. Salt just brings out the flavor and things. All right, so now we're gonna move over to our wet ingredients. Now, the wet ingredients is a fun one because I believe most households own a fork. Oh, definitely. I have a couple of these. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna start by doing is adding our room temperature butter. We have four tablespoons here, and it's unsalted because we wanna add the salt ourselves, which the girls already helped me with. So we're gonna add that. You want it nice and soft so that you don't need an electric mixer because we don't have that fancy kind of equipment lying around. <laughs> All right, so we've got our butter. Now, would someone like to do the honors and scoop this peanut butter in there? I will. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we need three one. people to make cookies, right? And two people to dish out the peanut butter. <laughs> and one person to eat it. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so no worries. The fork can stay in there. It can stay dirty. Okay. Then we've got our brown sugar. So we have three quarters of a cup, which I'm going to plonk in there. Mm -hmm. And we have our granulated sugar, and we've got a quarter of a cup. So we're going to be using a fork here. So whoever wants to take the first round on it can start mixing away with the fork. Okay, I'll go ahead. You can draw straws. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. Oh my god, you can smell the peanut butter. It smells amazing. <laughs> All right. So I am going to take over mixing while these lovely ladies crack the eggs in here. So you each get to do one and one at a time, and I'm going to mix them in as we go. So, <laughs> girls, take your eggs. So the trick is not to get any shell into the bowl. Okay, never. All right, you want to use the edge of the bowl? Yes. There you go. Perfect. Sweet. That was a perfect crack. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get that partially mixed in. Can I say? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Perfect. All right, so that's getting all mixed in. Next egg. Okay. Pressure. <laughs> Everyone always... has their own cracking style. Uh, oh, wow, I'm actually surprised. It's perfect. It was a, <laughs> oh, okay. It's part of the chick. <laughs> you get the honors, so why don't you start slowly adding our dry ingredients while I keep adding. Slowly pour it. Keep pouring. Oh, you can go a little faster than that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in it goes. All right, so Laura, chocolate chips in here. All right. Just dump them on. Dump them in. Oh, oh. A few strays. <laughs> those babies. A few for the cooks. <laughs> okay. Michelle, my arm's getting tired. You can take over. Well, Michelle needs to finish mixing up here, and while she does that, I'm going to run over to the oven, grab our baking sheets, and make sure that it's preheated to 350 degrees. We're going to be making balls of dough about the size of a ping pong ball or a golf ball. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my hands. Girls, you do the same. Okay. Now these cookies don't expand too much, so they need to be about two inches apart, but don't worry, because they shouldn't end up as one giant pan cookie. <laughs> oh, All right. that would be, that would be good. <laughs> it would be good. <laughs> a delicious mistake. Ugh. We should blast some Tina Turner in the, in the house. <laughs> Rolling, <laughs> rolling down the river. river. No. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie dough will probably be gone by the end. Definitely. Awesome. All right, so we're going to get these into the oven, 12 to 15 minutes, and then we're going to be off to cookie tasting. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> All right, ladies, time to taste our creations. Amazing. Mm. Okay. Mmm. 
Lord Club. Mm. You are my god. Mm -hmm. Lord Club. Mm. I can taste the peanut butter coming through. I think they've come together pretty nicely. Very yeah. nicely, definitely. <laughs> Your sugar and spice. Awesome. So to find out more about our recipes and episodes, make sure to check out thehotplate.net. And thanks very much for watching The Hot Plate. The Hot Plate.